Yo, crazies! Welcome in, it's me, Crazy Dog. And by the dial, yes, we are doing a buff and nerf tier list. And everyone in the comments, oh my god, this person in that tier list? You're crazy. And then we'll have the opposite, okay? It's, it's, the tier list nowadays are so drastically different, okay? They're so different, okay? I can't be perfect! But you know what? We're gonna be perfect today. I expect all the mods to ban anyone who's been dirty. Yep, see? King Vaughn? That's a freaking one minute right there. <laughs> I mean, it's all anecdotal. It's all based, like, subjective, you know? Ah, <sighs> mega nerfs or mega bar, small nerfs. We're gonna put Arya in mega nerf. Mega nerf isn't supposed to be meant to bring them down to their knees and just make the character terrible. It's just more, like, more nerfs. Small nerfs are, like, small tweaks and stuff. But with the uh, Arya, I think her dagger should not have so much arc that it has. Like, you can throw the dagger and it, like, almost flies straight across the entire way. It's freaking annoying and it just makes no sense. It's such a get-out-of-jail-free card. People are saying, oh, you have to aim it. You don't have to aim it, dude. You, you literally just throw it in the direction that they're at and, like, you can hit them. Her down tilt? I'm not sure how you nerf it exactly, but my god, dude. It's just, it's almost an unreactable thing. Unless you practice over and over and over or you're playing against the bot aria who just does it over and over and that's the only approach option they do you nerf her not having to a dodge on it and she has a lot more whiff for missing it but maybe just maybe and maybe it could be a little slower but i uh, i'm indifferent on that that was just out of my ass if you nerf that have a significant whiff so that way she can be punished out of it maybe they make it so you can do an up air or up tilt as well you like it's just so fast you don't, sometimes you don't know if it's gonna go. Maybe it would take more the stamina. I think it'd be cool if you made it so this had a lot longer whiff. So more whiff and also make it not a dodgeable move. And then maybe, what if you could not only just use a jab left and right, but what if you could do an up tilt or maybe a side special? And when you do the side special, it would do the tornado, something like that. So that way you nerf the ability, but make it more like less cancer but make it more fun at the same time. And then her dagger. Like, look at the, look how fucking far it threw, dude. And look how long it lasts on the body. Like, look how much mind game that is. They need to nerf that as well. Hey man, I don't think he should have as much control over his battering. Or if he does have control, just make it faster. Like, it takes longer to pull out his battering. It's not instant. Or make it also you can't hold on to it for so long. Like, or the bomb. Like the bomb version, it shouldn't be on him for that long. So it's like he has to make an aggressive move. And I know that. Same with the Arya knife. Same with the freaking battering. Same with invulnerability windows coming on the stage after a stock. They're all too long, dude. You have so much time to mind game. Like, oh, what am I going to teleport? When am I going to do this? When am I going to oh hit you? Oh, like you have so much time to mind game. Shaggy Rage, even it's at that, it's 12 seconds. They did nerf it. Hitboxes with his down special, his leg kick, it hits unbelievably bad. Look how long he has his bomb active. It's like, oh, I miss. I miss. Oh, I miss an attack. Oh, then I hit. Like, dude, what the hell is that? Why? So inappropriate. Look at that. It puts it right on his dick. Reduces skill. Of shame. For getting the battering back, it should be half. Like, it's a full cooldown. Boom. Like, 90% of the cooldown. I think it should be a little bit less than that. Also, if they made it just so this takes a little bit longer, uh, this hitbox could be worked on as well. See, look at that hitbox. It just doesn't visually represent where it hits sometimes. But you know, a hitbox, universal hitbox nerfs across the cast. I think those are the biggest problems I have with them right now. And ladies and gentlemen, Bugs Bunny, infinite eating, eating carrot, son of a gun, very little slut. I hate him. I hate him. This is how he. This is how he is. Eh, what's up, knock? He shoves a carrot up his ass. I can't listen to this music. <laughs> I can't. Hold on. What is this song? I think he needs some small nerfs. All his combo consists of goes in, rushes in, he does a nair. He does a up tilt and then a nair. And then he can like go into it again, like do a up air and then an, a nair and then a freaking up. Yeah, the up air with the bat and stuff. Like he can just continue that and rack up 60 damage. So brain dead. Lower his hole. That's another ability that I was talking about the knife and the battering here where you have a lot of time to react to it. And how long does a hole need to be on the ground? 
They need to limit how many times you can go through or an object goes through. His rockets should not come down. Did you know, fun fact, in the beta, they admitted that the rocket coming down after a long period of time is a bug, was a bug, but they kept it in. <laughs> If I'm using a armor break move to break the safe, I should never get hit as well. But basically I want the this to not last too long. Like look how long you have, first of all. Or what if they made it so that way you have charges to where, oh, you have three charges. You can go through the hole and as soon as you pop out, the other hole disappears. Like you can't go back through it again. When you have the hole, you have three charges on your hole. When you go out, Bugs Bunny cannot go back in. He can send one item through the hole with that charge. It should last like five seconds though, not as long as it does. And then you throw it down and it should go through once and then it should disappear. And you get like three charges on the hole. The last five seconds to do that. So that way you have very limited time. You don't just have the hole out forever. Yeah, this right here, this right here is what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, what is that? And usually that's true, like, and then they can even continue that. If they're good Bugs Bunny players, they can continue the Nair like pretty easily. That needs to be nerfed as well. That's all I got. Finn, we got. And when I say mega nerfs, I'm, not, I'm talking about how impactful the nerf will be, not how many nerfs there are and how many buffs or whatever. Finn needs a mega nerf with two, one and only thing, his momentum, dude. He can fly across the map. You can see how long he can stay up on the stage alone. Like, look how, look how much he can just stay in the air. This is what I'm talking about, like an example of the momentum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like nine times he can do that. This is, a, that's what I'm talking about, the momentum. Just nerf his momentum. Like he has so much float. This is like the only thing that should give momentum. But yeah, that's all I mean is lower Finn's momentum for the love of God. Garnet. The only thing I would change is how long the star is active. See like that, like it didn't create a line. I'm gonna put it in balance. I think I like her for the most part. I think her Sair, I've underestimated her Sair, man. Her Sair is very long and very large and very thick. And my God, it combos into stuff. But overall, she's not a part of like the people who are insane. Jake, I'm gonna be putting in both. I feel like you shouldn't be able to SD very easily with Jake. I know they did a shadow ner nerf, but I've seen it still be possible. And the only way I feel like it should be possible is if they chomp you off the edge. That's when it should be possible. I feel like they should buff skateboard. Skateboard should be like it was fun in the beta. It should be a aggressive option, an option to start a combo, you know? Even if they made it to where it only bounced twice instead of three times, I think that would be better. Like it's just, it's just so slow and clunky, I guess. Uh, I feel like they can nerf this knockback. I just think they should increase other avenues with him instead of making that move like the one move. Cause all these Jakes do is spam this. Cause once they hit it, like at high percentages, like they're just gone. Um, I really like the horsey tech where they can move backwards. I don't have the keybind set up for it. Like, look how much, I look how much I just sent him in the air with zero. I think they could lower the hitbox on that because holy shit. Like, you should only be going that high. Like, look at that, dude. That's insanely strong just for hitting. Like, the, this hitbox is just too much. All right, those are my thoughts on Jake. Rain dog, rain dog, rain dog. Dude, I almost want a whole entire rework of this character. Probably put him in the both category. One thing I know for sure they need to nerf <clears throat> is this god alpha hitbox. Look at where it hits. You can like literally, I don't even have to slow it down for you. You can just see where it's hitting. Also that side side special hitbox. Doesn't matter if you hit him out of your ass. But I want to see more kill potential with Rain Dog, like some of his moves. I'm not a Rain Dog man, but what if you what do you think about throwing this, having a cooldown on this, but it throw it charges like way faster and shoots faster. Like three charges. Would that make him worse? Or do you guys like the big balls? I just feel like it doesn't have much impact and it's just super long, super slow. A crystal cooldown. I don't mind it because it takes a lot 
Like if he's doing that, you see him doing that, he's in a lot of hits done. I think that'll make him more fun. A little bit faster, more fun. That's my, that's my, that's it, that's it. That's it, huh? That's it, what are you gonna say about it? I'm going as I'm going, this is the flow. I'm trying to make characters more fun, but more balanced. I'm not perfect. Shaggy, oh my God, Shaggy! All I can say for Shaggy is just make the knockbacks less. Like maybe make Shaggy more fun by making him faster and all his moves kind of come out faster, but make it so like less hits done and he actually has to read opponents and it's not just jab, jab, up till up special, like death. Like, you know, it's insane. It's insane. I don't like it. Make it more fun again. Make Shaggy fun again. All I see Shaggy's do is that. Dash that sometimes. I don't know. I really don't know how to fix him because he can be really fun. It's just that's all he's known for. Honestly, maybe make it so shaggy instead of just charging like this and just getting it for free. Maybe he gets it based on damage. Kind of like an Iron Giant Rage. Maybe he gets hit at stuff and he's like, you know, as he's fighting, almost like a Samurai Jack charge. What if it charges up with a bar instead of just him like... I think it'd make it more fun. Honestly, dodge, dodges need to be standardized and have less frames. I agree, I agree with that. Steven, his Sarah, just make it smaller, dude. It's way too strong. This is way too big, way too safe, way too less risk. Look how fast I can charge this up. I can just literally click it and it hits all the way around me. What the hell is that garbage? Like you should have to like charge it up. That's about it with Steven. And next up, ladies and gentlemen, and we have the Giga Chat Superman. Mega Boss! Mega Boss! If you don't know- This looks like a job for Superman. Superman! If you guys don't know, Superman's lasers, sometimes that will go through as they're running and it doesn't hit normally. Uh, a lot of the maps like Townsville, Scooby Mansion, Game of Thrones map, uh, it will just go through. I would make the hitbox like a little bit off the ground because sometimes people have a move where it's like a millimeter off the ground and it doesn't hit when it goes through, even though it's visually it's showing that it's hitting. Superman can get stuck on the ledge like this when he's clearly flying above it. Uh, they nerfed his momentum, dodge, dodge there for no reason um just give him his momentum back fix the lasers which they did say they have to fix and then nerf what everyone hates this right here like look at how far it's hitting that's really far i think you start by just making it smaller the sarah doesn't need to be nerfed yeah exactly so it just forces me to use the broken thing that people are complaining out which is ice breath and next up kids we got tom and cherry he needs buffs he needs nerfs well, I might put him in both. A lot of them are both. Actually, I'm going to put him a small nurse for now. But basically, nerf his up tilt, his freaking paddle board to not hit so far. Uh, his dare not to hit so unbelievably cancerly through the map and just so far. You know, I'm going to move into both. We got a good uh, option. Nichetto saying mousetrap and that actually is a good idea because the mousetrap right now and how it works is that you just set it on the ground and almost nothing can get rid of it. I just think it's a boring skill. Imagine this, instead of how long it takes to put down, what if you could freaking combo it? Put it down like instantly, almost instantly. Because even without the cool the cooldown, or maybe you put one down with the cheese that lasts a little while, but then everything else, you could combo that in. Wouldn't that be a cool combo string instead? Wonder Woman, Mega Nerfs. It's not even about our armor anymore. It's about this. How fast, how easy, how safe, some of her combos just, like I'm not even trying. Like I don't even know what I'm doing. Like where it hits, how soon it hits. I feel like whenever you trade with Wonder Woman as well, she goes nowhere and she just, like everything is so big, so large, except her cheeks. You know what, maybe be a little bit more like Garnet. Quit compensating with the size of your freaking hitboxes. That's it, that's all I want with Wonder Woman. Oh wow, I can do whatever I want. I haven't seen enough Velma. But from the clips I've seen, I'm gonna put her in balance right now. I'm gonna put her in balance for now. Uh, she's she seems she seems really strong as of late, and I don't think we need to change her right now. All right, Taz and both. Let's talk about Taz. Talk about his stupid little tongue. Now, for the love of God, give people back the boot. I don't know why this sends up. I think it's kind of dumb. He should keep it in the same momentum. I think they should give him a cooldown again. Maybe if he is out of cooldown, then it does like a small projectile in front of him. But then if he has the three charges, have a lobbing apple. That made him so much fun. That made him so much fun having cool apple plays, the apple core. 
Um. I don't know. I don't know about the... In my opinion, to make it more fun, make this move a strong ability. You could even make it a little bit stronger. Make it last less time. Look how long it lasts. Maybe it lasts a little bit less time, but make it almost like a, a really strong kill move. But, or while it's on cooldown, make it so a side special does something different and not just the tornado over and over. I don't know what exactly you would do, but make it do something else. Yeah, maybe a bear trap or something like that to make it more fun. Give people more variety because all I'm seeing with Taz is running. You take a deep breath. I'm trying to explain in this beautiful video and you're just interrupting it. Fuck you. I'm going to I'm gonna fuck you later tonight. Wait. Oh, let me talk. Make this smaller, like 30% smaller. But make it more controllable. Holy shit, your head's big. Shut God, up! Damn. Timed out. But make it so you can like fly it, fly it in the air, and make it faster. Don't make it like a huge kill potential, but make it a really good one to get them off the stage for a good combo. That's what I think would make it funner, cause it, mm, funner. God damn it. Cause like, look at this. It's just not fun to use. It's just annoying. People just have to run away and sit there. All right, those are my ideas for Taz. A lot of these are gonna be in both because I just feel like they could make characters a lot more fun if they just put their heads together, you know? Iron John, I like the effect who he is, but they make him big, bulky, but honestly make Iron Giant faster. Not as far as like movement, but on how fast he gets abilities out. I just want him to feel like more fun and like using the abilities rather than Bonk, bonk, bonk. Do, 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 do. Dead. I want his abilities to have less knockback, less influence on like the, the direction he can send them. Like, look how far the second hit sends him. I just want him to be a little more agile, even though he's a big boy. Make his abilities faster but make it less knockback, less hit stun, more reads, more ability variety. Cause then it actually might, you might see other abilities go out and make other abilities stronger. Maybe that does more knockback for combos like that. That's all I got. They didn't make him a tad smaller. They could make him smaller. I'm not sure how that would affect. Right now they're nerfing things and they're not thinking about how do I make this character more fun? Open up more avenues for fun stuff. I'm gonna go based on of what Christopher said about him getting buffs and they uh, all and it ruining his character still either way. I don't know how exactly how LeBron works. He's probably the most number one characters I don't understand fully, but I feel like they could just make him a little bit more fun. I'm not saying he's uh, not unfun, but like I just want more avenues. Ah! Like this one hardly gets used. Maybe do it something else with that. Like who uses it? Does anyone use this? Maybe make his moves better without the ball. So it's not just about the ball, you know? Oh, Morty, holy shit. See how they come out? Make it the same speed, remove the ball, and make it so you can activate the snakes whenever you want. Now that is creative, because all I'm seeing them do is this. You know, just like combo into it. Because it's such a, it's such a, look how long his dodge is. Look how long his dodge is. Holy shit! Four grid boxes! It's insane from half the stage. Look at that! Dude, it's disgusting! It's so far! It's so bullshit! For like from here to here, max. And it goes almost two times that. What if the dirt, if he hits it, it does a lot more knockback in the air just straight up in the air. More knockback though, even at early damage, but it br and it like just kind of like shatters the wall. So that way he has to go up and read or throw a grenade. So that way it works at lower damages too. And then if you put the wall all like back here, what if it kept the wall there? What if it goes bigger and it keeps the wall there? So that way you can dodge in and maybe it takes two hits before it breaks. Dude, I am cooking up a storm here. I'm cooking up. Insane. And you might add a dirt cooldown if that's the case or like a, but you know what? We're not a fan of cooldowns. Just see how it works. Yeah, almost like a Steven shield, but then you break it. It breaks or it takes two bounces to break. Let's go. Okay. I don't want to hate Morty anymore. I want to see I want to see different combos, different stuff being seen. Where's the rework? Where's the rework option? We're just gonna put it in both. 
I'm not going to go into details in there if I don't know Rick as well, but I feel like he has some cool combos that he can do. It's just that Rick's fish for like the same combo and it still requires jab. I would like to see Rick get nerfed as far as like the Meeseeks flying hitbox still. I think they abused that. He should be looking for one thing still. I know they nerfed his jab before. I'm not, I don't know how exactly how you'd nerf it. I really don't. I need your guys' help in the comments for a lot of this stuff. I think he's in a good spot though. Nerf a couple of his hitboxes. Somehow find different avenues than just jab. That's, that's about it. Gizmo, I think he needs both. The biggest thing that comes to my mind is hitboxes. Like it's just... I think Gizmo players, they get just, that's like all they look for. <laughs> oh my God, see I'm allergic to rats. Make the nerf this hitbox as well. Like what the shit? That shouldn't be a spike move. Like this should send people way back. Cause he has to charge it. Like that note should send them like way back. Oh yeah, one move I wanted to, uh, to say to rework. Rework, I, I guess it's like meant to project, protect projectiles or from projectiles, but you're just stuck. You're just stuck. So maybe like, maybe make it so he can like move or something. Cause this, when is the last time you ever saw anyone use this, you know? Maybe it takes a bit for him to gain the courage to get out of the chest, but when it gets out of the chest, the chest stays on the ground and it can protect against projectiles or something. What if, what if he threw out not popcorn, but like the popcorn kernels. And then if you ran into him, they would like pop right in your face. Something like that. I think Stripe is okay for the most part. I think you just need to nerf his hitboxes. He's got a lot of, like a lot of moves that he just spams to hit them. I don't know how you make him more fun. Uh, make his chainsaw better. It's just really easy to dodge, really easy to parry if you practice it a little bit. Almost make it not like an arc, but almost like straight across and faster or something like that. That's all I got for Stripe right now. All I want for Black Adam, maybe it's a small nerf, but I think it would really greatly affect his kit. I just want this to not be a dodge, a free dodge. Oh, I can dodge, I can dodge. Oh, let me do it again. Just two more times. Way too fast, way too far, and it spawns an electric field. You just have to wait for him to do it and bait it out. I don't know what to do with Marvin. I think he's boring. He just spams projectiles non-fucking-stop just all the time. He just needs to be reworked, in my opinion, dude. He just spams projectiles all day. Have fewer, less projectile spams. Make it more powerful and meaningful when he hits his abilities. Because that, that would just feel more fun. Make it so he has better melee attack avenues. What I was going to say is I feel like he uses this all the time. I like the old one better to where he, like, he, has to, he can charge it and hold it but he takes damage. I thought that was a lot better. Don't know how to fix that guy. He's just boring, not played. You know what, I'll put him in mega buff for that reason. Joker, he looks for the, he still looks for the same combo. Nerf his goddamn cards. This is insane. I hate this hitbox so much, dude, it's so far. I think a way cooler system for Joker is let him choose the card that he wants, but make the cards way better. Maybe keep the perk as like a the big card explosion, but he can choose it. It's just on a longer cooldown. But don't let the cards heat seek. I don't want the cards to be heat seeking. Like I want to see way different cards. Maybe he grabs the illusionary card and it's a fake card to make him dodge or whatever. And then and then he gets to immediately throw out the real card. Uh, have the big explosion card. Have the card that he clicks it and it just throws out and it like, kind of rotates. And if he gets close to it, then the card will like float to him to try to blow up. I don't know, something like that. Give him more variety. I like that he can choose his cards like this. I think just make this faster to choose his cards, to cycle through what he wants and make the cards better, less heat seeking, bigger cooldown. Bigger cooldown, more meaningful cards. Like, oh yeah, another card, but make it so it stuns him, a parry one. But yeah, I think the cards are boring. Make him more fun, make him more unique. Uh, Banana Guard, I didn't give him his kit, but just make him faster. Just make him faster. I know he's just kind of lacking a little bit. Make him faster. I want the game to be faster, so I just think just make Banana Guard faster. That's all I'm going to say. Where's Johnny Bravo? We're getting to him next. Jason, like I, like I said, I know it might ruin the character or whatever. Just make his abilities a little bit more f faster. Make it so Jab Jab Side Special isn't as reliable or get rid of that. If you're not going based on that and like changes and you want to keep him how he is, which is like, okay, I'm going to say he's balanced. I'm going to put him in balance. I'm not going to lie. Do you feel right at home, guys? Guys, I appreciate you listening to me. Labber on Yabber. Uh, are, you guys, are you enjoying my company? Trump ball? 100%. Let's go! 100%! Let's go! Let's go! I'm going to put 
Agent Smith in uh, balance. I just think they could uh, nerf his hitboxes. But over other than that, I feel like he's just a pretty decent character. I think J uh, Jack is balanced. I don't think he's broken. He's not really placing. Neither is Agent Smith. I don't know if he's even played. So I'm going to put them both in balance. I don't care what you guys say. Beetlejuice, obviously kill potential. Yeah, I think they did fix it. They did uh, recently buff Beetlejuice. So I don't know how he is. He might be balanced now. I don't know. Let me know down below. But it, I feel like the changes I was looking at didn't really change a whole lot as far as his kill potential. But I'm not 100%. So let me guys know. Crazies, this is the end of the uh, uh, mega nerf to mega buff tier list. Let me know if you guys agree. And if you guys have not watched the previous and you skip to the end to see this tier list, you're going to miss out on explanations. Both I go through abilities and show a lot of reasons what I'm changing and why they're there. So it's so hard to objectively say and look at a list where, oh, wow, why are you saying, oh, are you mega nerf? Are you saying a nerfer? Like, like, you have to go watch what I'm saying. Otherwise, you'll just hate the list no matter what. But we had the crazies in the chat today. They were helping out a lot. Crazies, let me know what your guys' thoughts. How would you change your character? But let's make the characters fun again. Let's make the game fluid, like the fluidity of it fun. Let's make the avenues of creativity of our movesets more fun. How would you guys fix your characters in that way? Let's give the developers good ideas. And uh, hopefully I had some good ones. But with that, crazies, I say goodnight and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies! Goodbye, crazies! Love you, crazies! Goodbye!